Hi, and welcome to week 27 of World History 2. So this week, uh, we're going to be exploring some pivotal moments in world history. We're diving into the tumultuous era of World War I, from the multiple European fronts to the aftermath of the conflict. And we will be beginning by outlining the course of the war on multiple European fronts. So World War I was a global conflict that engulfed Europe and beyond, characterized by trench warfare and massive casualties. The war unfolded on multiple fronts, including the Western Front, Eastern Front, Italian Front, and various colonial theaters. On the Western Front, Allied forces clashed with the Central Powers in a grueling stalemate, marked by bloody battles such as Verdun and the Somme. Meanwhile, on the Eastern Front, German and Austro-Hungarian forces faced off against Russian armies in a vast theater of operations. As the war progressed, new fronts, new fronts emerged in regions such as the Balkans and the Middle East, further expanding the scope of the conflict and drawing in additional combatants. The entry of the U.S. into the war in 1917 proved to be a decisive turning point that ultimately led to an Allied victory. So we're going to be exploring how U.S. involvement shifted the balance of power. The U.S.'s decision to enter World War I was prompted by a combination of factors, including German unrestricted submarine warfare, the Zimmermann telegram, and ideological support for the Allied cause. American intervention bolstered the Allied war effort by providing crucial resources, manpower, and financial assistance. The arrival of fresh American troops on the Western Front injected new energy into the conflict, tipping the scales in favor of the Allies. We'll then be shifting our focus to the aftermath of the war and the issues discussed at the Paris Peace Conference. So the Paris Peace Conference brought together world leaders to negotiate the terms of peace and reshape the post-war world order. Central to the discussions were the principles outlined in Woodrow Wilson's 14 points. Wilson's 14 points articulated a vision of, for a new world order based on principles such as self-determination, open diplomacy, and the creation of a League of Nations to prevent future conflicts. While Wilson's ideals resonated with many, the final terms of the Treaty of Versailles reflected the compromise that fell short of his vision. So we're going to be delving into the terms of that treaty and its impact on post-World War I Europe. The Treaty of Versailles imposed harsh penalties on Germany, including territorial losses, military restrictions, and reparation payments. These punitive measures fueled resentment and economic hardship in Germany, laying the groundwork for future instability. Furthermore, the treaty's failure to address underlying geopolitical tensions and national aspirations contributed to simmering grievances that would eventually erupt into new conflicts, such as World War II. Finally, we'll explore the causes that contributed to the February Revolution, a pivotal moment in Russian history. The February Revolution of 1917 was sparked by a combination of socioeconomic grievances, wartime hardships, and discontent with the autocratic rule of Tsar Nicholas II. Mass demonstrations and strikes erupted in Petrograd, which is now known as St. Petersburg, leading to the abdication of the Tsar and the establishment of a provisional government. However, the revolution failed to bring about lasting stability, as competing political factions vied for power amidst the chaos of war and social upheaval. So, as we conclude, we find that uh, these events and these moments um, in the course of World War I and its aftermath reshaped the global landscape in profound and far-reaching ways. I want to thank you for following along, and I look forward to seeing you all and working with you next week. Thank you.